Our previous video covered hierarchical clustering. This video is a different form of clustering called k-clustering and is similarly classified under machine learning techniques. You can read the full simplification of popular biostatistical techniques by clicking the link below. K-clustering, what is it? K-clustering groups samples that are most similar to each other. One cluster or group is formed around a centroid. The number of centroids are determined by the user. In this analysis, we get to pick how many categories there are for the data. When do we need to do that? K-clustering is commonly used in profiling. We use it to profile samples. And again, you can dictate how many clusters are made. So how does it work exactly? For example, we analyzed the protein profile of 1,000 proteins of 100 breast cancer patients using an antibody-based microarray. Keep in mind that some of them get up to 8,000 proteins, making this a large data set. We believe that there are five subtypes of breast cancer based on cellular phenotypes. We want to determine whether the patients fall into their diagnosed subtype. Here are the steps of the analysis. First, the protein expression of each protein across eight patients is centered and then scaled by taking into account the mean and standard deviation. This transformation means that the data set has a mean of zero and a scale of one, just like hierarchical clustering. Second, and where this technique differs, we tell the software that we want five subtypes. The software picks five points on the plot called centroids. Third, the Euclidean distance or closest distance between the centroid and sample data is calculated. Numerous iterations are performed to find the optimal centroid between position and grouping. Fourth, the samples are clustered into five final groups, and that is the data we care about. So what does it look like? K-clustering results in a 2D plot like this one, and or as a table that lists the clusters and samples assigned to one another. This plot represents the data assigned by the first iteration and the last iteration. For more machine learning techniques and other statistical models, check out our full white paper by clicking the link below. The next technique in the series is logistic regression.